Students at KU also returned for in-person class today. It comes after this video was posted to social media over the weekend. The person who took the video claims he made a wrong turn and was confronted by this group from the Kappa Sigma fraternity. He said one person even threw alcohol at him. Just days before this, the Kansas health director criticized how Greek life communities have handled themselves during this pandemic. I've kind of given up a little bit on the on the fraternity and sorority members, quite honestly. If you ask them what should you do to curtail the spread of coronavirus, they can cite it line and verse what is the right thing to do, but they're not doing it. 41 Action News reporters have more on this incident and how students are handling the return to class. It was fun. Um, obviously, it was weird because we had to sit like so far away from each other. Classes are back in session in Lawrence, but it's a first day unlike any other. We've never had a start of school or even a, a school day like this. To prevent the spread of COVID-19, the university has new rules. First, masks must be worn at all times while on campus. Second, before walking into a building, staff and students have to prove that they have answered and passed a daily health assessment quiz from the CV key app. I just got through all the all the symptoms that I could possibly have. Um, thankfully, I have none of them, so I click that. Students like senior Ben Wilson have it ready before entering the Capitol Federal Building. I feel like we should be able to hand, handle this like adults and shouldn't be any problems. But some worry about people who don't follow the rules. It's like extremely hard because like obviously you're like tempted by like parties, restaurants, wanting to hang out with your friends, wanting to go to social events. Especially now after two fraternities, Kappa Sigma and Phi Kappa Psi are in hot water over this weekend's parties that violated Douglas County and and university rules. These people are just irresponsible. They don't care about anybody but themselves kind of thing. Students even making predictions and how long it will take before in-person learning is a thing of the past. Yeah. Three weeks. <laughs> Maybe two. Three, two to three weeks. Realistically, like probably two weeks. Both professors and students just hope rules are taken seriously. That way they can enjoy their time in Lawrence in this uncertain time. I'm kind of hopeful. Like hopefully people will get it together and will get better, but I highly doubt that. We're going to have some stumbles, but um, I think everybody wants the same thing. I don't think anybody wants to shut down campus. I think everybody wants us to be able to try to learn together and nobody wants anybody to get sick. In Lawrence, Jordan Betts, 41 Action News. KU's chancellor said the university sent cease and desist orders to the two fraternities. It also issued a 14-day public health ban for the members of those organizations.